Hello. Hello, everyone. This is Ian Fairley, and welcome to the first ever D Dinosaur Series Q&A live stream, where you have the questions and I have the answers to whatever species of dinosaur or any other species beyond that you would like to talk about. So go ahead and feel free to ask some questions about a certain species of dinosaur, or it could even be a pterosaur. Oh, and uh, have you have you guys heard about my new animation channel? I was well. I think the Mega Raptor was was a. I think Mega Raptor was a great a great dinosaur. I don't really think it was a spinosaur type species, but it did. But it did eat fish. How are you doing, by the way, Gus? Yeah, I'm doing good, too. Well, I think there is in a surprise. Hold on, a little bit further. Well, I think that there is in a source is a cool dinosaur it's it's bird like and it has and it has claws really long claws excuse me i i usually don't i usually don't i, I usually don't talk a lot but um well, ne next to the Trodon, I like the Therosinosaurus too. Looks like we're a little. Uh, looks like we're a little low on participants for this for this first stream. I'm sure there. I'm sure there. I'm sure there might be more soon. Thanks.
But thanks for coming to my live stream, Gus. Yeah, I would probably I would probably be the same if if I would probably be the same if more people showed up. Hmm. Maybe a, a, maybe I should have maybe I should have announced maybe I should have announced the whole thing to be on YouTube. Oh, and as for the Giganotosaurus. Well, Well, not much to say about the about the Giganotosaurus, but I but I like how strong it is. I like how strong it is. Though it's uh, though T Rex was even smarter. But how do you think? Uh, how do you think it would do against an Indominus Rex or a Spinosaurus? Yeah, I probably think the Giga would probably would against would against Spino. Well, de uh, well, depending what. Well, I don't know. Depending on what others. Well, depending on what others say, they were looking. Everyone was looking forward to a re to a rematch against Spinosaurus and T Rex, and and let me tell you, it can get annoying. It can get annoying sometimes. I'm not sure if it's a I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a or a bad thing but but if but if Spinosaurus and T-Rex were ever to have a 
rematch. I'm not really sure if I, I, I'm not really sure if I hate it. Do you hate the debate about Spinosaurus and T-Rex? Yeah, too many Spinosaurus fanboys around here. I mean, apart from the whole... I mean, apart from the whole world, none of us, none of us should care about the Spinosaurus and T. Rex thing anymore. If Spinosaurus were in Dominion, it, it probably wouldn't make it probably wouldn't make sense if there's already a Giganotosaurus. Yeah, a very big surprise. I I kind of like Dominion better than season. Or of Camp Cretaceous, in my opinion. I don't th I don't think I've heard of that an Innostransevia I might have learned some s species beyond dinosaurs but never heard of this never heard of this creature before Even if even for it. Oh, so so that's what. It, uh, oh, so that's what it looks like. Maybe I might. Rem maybe I might rem remember. And I believe it must have lived in the Permian period. Hello, LBT. It's nice to see you come to the stream. Do, 
do you have any questions for me about a certain species of uh, I actually you probably know a lot I did when I entered your stream through the computer it it might have had some echoes even when I put the headphones on even when I put the headphones on. But other than but other than that, the stream was but other than that, the stream was good. It's it's all right. Considering that Isabella's sermon was into two of those movies, that's interesting. That's that's good to hear. Although Kaiju Kaiju didn't really I was saying that's good to hear since since although Kaiju don't really exist in real life, they have lived before the dinosaurs. I mean, it'd be a coincidence if we got to see kaijus in, in real life. Are you? Uh, hold, hold on, I'm going to.
Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna mute this here and mute it back on. Are you able to hear me now? Glitching problems. I don't know why they always happen like this. I'll type it in in case you can't hear me, but Australovenator is, is one of the most, I believe, the one of the most agile predatory dinosaurs on Earth. I think there, I think there was one in Walking with Dinosaurs, though it's called the Polar Allosaur. Though I, th though I think Australovenator is more really related to Neovenator than Allosaurus, but they are, but they are both carnosaurs. Tyson Hugi, it's it's nice to see you and and thank you for complimenting on my audio. Had no I I had no idea it could glitch.
Oh, that's good. Yes, out of all the documentaries I've seen my throughout my entire life, this prehistoric planet is the best one. I I mean, you, I not only do the dinosaurs look accurate, but they mostly sound but they mostly sound accurate too. By the way, what do you guys think of David Attenborough who narrated this documentary? Well, I typically like both types of Dinochiruses, but Prehistoric Planets Dinochirus was the most accurate, accurate one. Looks more furry, looks more furry than feathery, but, but I like how the creators of Prehistoric Planet May it made it so life lifelike, and the Dinochirus living around swamps. It's true, Dinochirus lived in a swampy envi environment, and that's what prehistoric planet got right. Yeah, I yeah, I know. Ryan said Ryan said he had too much problems. I was just asking you guys what what you think. The three of you in this stream. But yeah, Ryan have some had some problems.
I'm I'm glad is I'm glad it was. And I'm sure you watch it on a website because I because I have. I hate how expensive Apple TV is. Why not just why not just put it on some other streaming, a less expensive streaming app. Any opinions about any opinions about Tarbosaurus and Velociraptor in prehistoric planet? And the Barbarodactyl is in prehistoric planet mostly mostly reminded me of of Thunderclap. From the good dinosaur. Tarbosaurus was a very good dinosaur for me, too, in prehistoric planets. Ever since the Speckles the Tarbosaurus movies. It doesn't matter how accurate well, I don't really mind the accuracy or inaccuracy of some dinosaurs, but I like what they did with the Velociraptors in Prehistoric Planet. Well, Neovenator is an okay, is an okay, interesting dinosaur for me. I wonder what would have. Uh, I wonder what the Neovenator. I kind of wish Neovenator was in Walking with Dinosaurs. Maybe it could fight the Iguanodons. But at least we see it in Dinosaur Britain.
I should talk about the Ovinator in the in the near future of my dinosaur series. I mean, it came along with Iguanodon. I'm. I mean, it lived at the same time as Iguanodon. Yes, yes, mostly. His theories about the Spinosaurus being being a juvenile and not an adult. I don't, I don't think that was true. Spinosaurus was already a, in a Spinosaurus was already an adult in Jurassic Park three. Not a juvenile. <laughs> yeah, about most of everybody hates him. I even heard of, I even heard about that accident. Uh, but, uh, I even heard about that accident, Spino King. Spinal the king made with Camptodon. That was a long, that was a long time ago. Well, probably not too long, but you get the gist. Anyways, I might have to close this live stream for. Hello, Ryan. I'm glad. I'm glad you came to the stream. But I might have to close this stream for now. I have. I have some important matters to tend tend to. It's all. Yeah, it has been a while. I haven't gone. I haven't gotten much views. I haven't gotten much commenters in my live stream. I haven't gotten much commenters in this stream, but hopefully I will in the future. Or in the near future. If you guys enjoy, thank you for all your questions. Thank you for all your questions, especially when I think about each species of dinosaurs. This is, this is Ian Fairley, and thank you for joining the stream.